and never forgetting also that there is this other unseen hand that knows absolutely what consciousness is who are experts in that fact you're walking around couldn't care less you're waiting for the next movie to come out and the next fashion and all that what Hollywood's going to do next but, but there's people there who have, who have a thorough understanding of human consciousness human psyche, human libido and they're working on it 24-7 to feather their own nests and also to keep man in servitude, man whom they think is their creation. They, don't, they, they think of man as just being one of their own, one of their own, uh, you know, like some, somebody treats a pet. If you actually watch how people mostly treat their pets, you know, when you really watch it, you'll find that the pet is a slave. Well, we have people ruling the society who think of human beings as pets and slaves. Yeah, they provide you with some food and they take you for a walk now and again. You know, but they basically you're that you are a pet, and you'll be told where to sit and where to go and what to do. That that should be obvious to people by now. But the, these individuals don't really have any fear of us. Well, they do have fear of us to the extent that they know if we were awakened, what we could do. I'm deeply troubled that a very vague, emotionally stated, semi-theologically defined diagnosis of the central global menace is obscuring our national ability to comprehend the historically unprecedented challenge which is being posed in our time by a massive global political awakening and thus is obstructing our ability to deal effectively with the global political turmoil that this awakening is generating. So they, their motive of um, why they would want to dumb down people is also highly practical. Remember, these people are very, very practical. They may be evil, but they're also very practical. They know that you don't want a mass of intelligent, free-thinking, self-aware, proactive, deeply concerned, spiritually empowered people. That's the worst threat that they can imagine. So they have. To, it's very practical for them to keep people, you know, one, what do they call it, one leash for one neck, everybody in a complete sense, sense of consent, with the illusion that they're independent. It doesn't work without that. So it says here, there's an interesting caption, it says, here stands the new man. His conception of reality is a dance of electronic images fired into his forebrain, a gossamer construction of his masters designed so that he will not under any circumstances perceive the actual or the real. His happiness is delivered to him through a tube or an electronic connection. His god lurks behind an electronic curtain. And when the curtain is pulled away, we find the CIA sorcerer and the media manipulator, Jim Keith. Mind control, a mass control, just one of the fine books on, you know, the manipulation of consciousness that he did before he sadly, uh, basically was killed, you know. It's, 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 he was one of the people, I think, uh, one of few who understood that the real war is a war on consciousness.